Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So as I'm sure a lot of you have already seen in the in-game news, we are officially getting Dokkan Awakenings for the two Halloween themed free to play cards in the Int, Go Tanks and Ghost. You can see his Awakened art right there. It's really, really freaking nice as well as the Tech Candy Vegito. Here's his Awakened art as well and um, it, it's nice too. I mean, it's basically just slightly zoomed in and he's no longer a perfect circle, which does make me a little bit sad, but <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I am extremely, extremely hyped, super excited for these two Awakenings. These are two of my favorite free-to-play cards in the entire game, no doubt, and even before their Awakenings, they were already really, really useful cards. I mean, they've helped a lot of people. Uh, beat stages on Super Battle Road and Dokkan Battlefield and so on and so forth. But now with their Awakenings, they're obviously going to get even better and I can't wait to see the details. But the thing is, at this point in time, while I'm filming this video, we do not have any information about what the Awakenings will look like. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little bit of uh, speculation, a little bit of predicting and see how close I get once the actual units release, right? So why don't we get started with the Go Tanks? Nope, actually, we're gonna start with Candy Vegito first. And one thing I do want to get out of the way, actually, is um, about the JP release as well. So obviously, we got the news last night on Global, but right now, there's still nothing on the JP side in the in, in the in-game news about whether uh, JP will be getting the Awakenings as well, right? But the thing is, if you look at the release dates, um, the Candy Vegito released on both versions at the same time in 2017 on October 31st. And for Go Tanks and Ghost, I think it was the same situation where both sides got the uh, card at the same time. So I don't expect the Awakening to be a global exclusive thing. I just think that the news is being delayed for whatever reason, but uh, JP should be getting the Awakenings at the same time too. So let's talk about Candy Vegito. So, his name is World's Strongest Candy, Candy Vegito, and uh, as far as the leader skill goes, it used to be attack and defense plus 7% for key sphere obtained. Um, basically a completely useless leader skill because you can always pretty much find a better option as far as nuke leads go. And personally, I'm hoping, now this might not be a realistic prediction, but what I'm hoping is that they make him a Patara leader of like, you know, key plus 3, maybe even attack and defense or HP attack and defense plus 50% to 70% more likely uh, 50% would make him a half decent option for a lot of newer players and free to play players so uh, that'd be really nice but realistically it's most likely going to become like attack and defense plus 12% plus 15% per key sphere obtained which basically means nothing since Nobody's gonna be using him for his leader skill still, right? So um, I'm hoping he becomes a free-to-play Patara leader, but maybe that's asking for too much. Now, moving to his super attack, he causes supreme damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy. I definitely don't think he's gonna get immense damage, so let's say he keeps the supreme damage multiplier, but now with a medium to high chance of stunning the enemy. You know what? Let's just go with high chance high chance to stun the enemy and also a hallmark of a lot of Vegito cards in this game is that they buff the rotation they're on when they super so I think he's also going to get increased allies attack by 30% for one turn upon supering so that's going to be the change to a super attack and then for the passive uh, this is fine high chance to evade enemies attack including super attack disables enemy guard and recovers HP with candy I think he's going to keep all of that stuff it's going to stay the same but on top of that I believe they're gonna turn him into a nuker and give him like attack and defense plus nothing crazy, maybe like 7 to 10% per key sphere obtained, so that at the very least he will be able to start doing some damage too. I know that he's mainly used for defense with the high chance to dodge and also the uh, HP recovery. I mean, actually, that's pretty useless on anything outside the um, Halloween event, right? But he also stuns the enemy and all that stuff, so he's mainly used as a defensive unit, but I would like to see them actually make him a little bit offensive as well. So let's say he becomes a nuker with attack and defense plus like 7% or something like that, it would still be a significant upgrade to having no attack or defense boost at all, right? So uh, let's go with that, or maybe even just attack. Maybe just attack plus 10% per key sphere obtained. It would still be a huge, huge upgrade, right? 
And then for Lynx, I think this Lynx set is fine, but I really hope that they give him Fused Fighter, just because it makes sense and it will make him Link even better with us, a lot of the other Vegitos in the game, right? So, you know, same Link set, give him Fused Fighter, we'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, that's my prediction for the Candy Vegito. Hopefully a Patara Leader skill of like 50% key plus 3, uh, and then for Super Attack, you know, Supreme Damage, high chance to stun and buff the rotation by 30% attack for one turn. Um, high chance to evade enemies attack, disables enemies guard, recovers HP with candy, and attack and defense plus 7-10% to per key sphere obtained, and then give him Fuse Fighter, and he'll be a pretty freaking awesome unit. Or maybe, yeah I just had another idea, what if instead of being a nuker, which would be fine but kind of boring, they made him have counters instead, right? So uh, instead of the tremendous power multiplier like the summonable ones have, they gave him the same multiplier that the uh, Int Yardrat Goku has. So not as strong, but still very respectable damage of like 100 to 200k per counter. And also, of course, some damage reduction on normal attacks of 30, maybe 40%, make him even tankier so that in case his high chance to dodge doesn't go off, you can still punish the enemy a little bit with those counters. I think that'd be pretty interesting. Is it realistic to expect that? Possibly. I mean, we have two. I think we have two cards in this game that are free to play. The half counters, um, the Yard Rat Goku, and also the uh, that AGL free to play Vegeta from the Pudding event. He does counter, right? I'm pretty sure he counters. Anyways, there's precedence for it. So it definitely could happen. And with the way that... Bandai's making these free-to-play cards these days and making them very, very strong, I think that could happen, and I would actually like that a lot. So instead of the nuker thing, let's actually go with the counter thing, alright? That's way more exciting to me, and that'll be my prediction for now. So next up is the Gotenks and Ghost. And for this guy, um, I mean, it's easier to predict his leader skill just because he's already a category leader. So let's say this goes up to 50%. I'm actually hoping 77% so that he'll be an even more viable option, I guess. But I mean, I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't matter too much. So let's say fusion category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, but more likely 50% if I'm being honest. And then his super attack is going to be supreme damage once again because they really don't give to play units immense damage it'd be nice if they did but it's just not something that happens with a high chance to stun the enemy that's also nice um i really don't think they're gonna change this super attack much i mean they could give him like a heal upon super which would be kind of nice or maybe you know what i haven't thought about this too much but let's say they give him a higher chance to stun and sealed or seal the enemy how about that not, like doing both would not make sense but let's say it's one or the other i think he'd be the only card in this game that could do that but i mean bandai is open to trying new things right so maybe he'll be the first unit with a high chance to stun or seal the enemy and it wouldn't really mean much i guess i don't think it really matters because um a lot of you know events these days can't be stunned or sealed but it's be like a cool novelty thing to have so let's go with that prediction Kind of random, I know, but uh, let's move on to the passive now. Now, as far as the passive goes, um, he currently randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, recovers 6,666 HP per rainbow key sphere obtained, and recovers HP with candy. And, uh, you know, aside from the last part, which is kind of useless, the other two, you know, things for his passive are really good. Now, what I'm predicting they're gonna turn him into now, so keep all this stuff for the passive, but also give him a support passive or fusions of key plus two and attack and defense plus 30 percent now is that realistically going to happen i mean yeah there's a lot of free to play supports in this game that give key plus two and attack and defense plus 30 percent for a certain category but the other reason why i feel like it makes a lot of sense is because fusions really really is lacking good support units man the only support unit that um, is in the category as far as I can remember or the only viable one is like Pandel and even she is Just very outdated at this point. She only gives attack plus 30% and she doesn't really do anything else much by herself. So um, I would love this guy to turn into a key plus 2 attack and defense plus 30% support for fusions um, It could also they could also just give him like a regular attack and defense boost of like 30 to 50% I think I'd be okay with that 
but I want him to be a support. I really, really do. So maybe this video should be titled what I want these awakenings to be as opposed to my predictions, right? Because a lot of times there's a difference, but uh, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be a support category, uh, fusion category, key plus two, attack and defense plus 30% while keeping all this other stuff. And he's going to be great once again. Like I said, man, these both of these cards are already really, really good pre-awakening. So anything that gets added on top of their current state is just just gravy you know and uh links wise i mean he has a pretty decent link so i can't really realistically expect either card to get like fierce battle or anything like that it's just asking for too much so yeah that's a fine link set and then categories stay the same obviously uh stats go up for both cards and that's it that's all i gotta say for today's video at this point we have no details maybe by the time i drop this video the details will already be out, which would kind of suck, <laughs> but those are my predictions, guys. Let's see how close I get once these uh, details or actual awakenings drop in the game. And for the time being, I'm just really, really hyped. I freaking love these cards. I love Halloween just as a holiday. It's one of my favorite holidays, one of my favorite times of the entire year. So I'm really glad that Bandai and Akatsuki are actually doing something pretty damn hype for us uh, for this year's celebration. So. Uh, yeah guys that's gonna do it for today's video hope you enjoyed it hope you guys are excited and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content Oh, and also, let me know about your predictions for these awakenings in the comments down below. Uh, whether you agree with me or you have some different ideas, I want to hear all of them, so feel free to leave that in the comments down below. And that's it. I'm out of here. That's all I gotta say. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.